Status report. Currently off duty. Okay then. Jet, is it? I'm pretty busy, Captain Cassini. You've got my stuff? Had to be sure you weren't carrying any bugs. You were clean apart from your Mac. The transponder key had a jacked signal. Jacked? Yeah, turned up to 11, so to speak. Like a beacon. <laughs> really insecure. I turned it down. Don't mess with it. Hey, where's that device I was carrying? Oh, don't expect that back. My friend is on it. B, take him in. He was trapped in a droid. Go on. A mining droid malfunctioned. When I disabled it, it kind of woke up. It was my friend from Cetus. He went missing during the war. The Lokans took people's consciousness and put them in droids? That's not right. This is worse than I thought. Can you talk to him? Yeah, through the device. Thanks for the intel, Cassini. We'll take it from here. What about my friend? You really want to help your friend? Help us with this case. I'm in as far as finding those people. That's what we're here for. And this is off the books? Right. So how do you want to do this? Shall we dive straight in? Let's get on with it. My thoughts exactly. How can I help find those facilities? Whenever you discover information that might help narrow down their position, add it to the computer. If you discover a potential location, investigate. These facilities are hidden. So how do we find them? As someone who's already found one, you're the expert here. You want me to bug Nebula Ventura? I have no doubt they're here to cover up their actions from the Seed and War. We need an insight into their communications to get to the facilities before they do. Our best chance is to get a bug in the office of General Kuznetsov. The General is posing as Vasily Volkov, Managing Director of Nebula Ventura. They have a refinery out in the ring that serves as their base of operations. See Jet for the bug. Thanks for the intel. Do you really collect art? It's both a cover and a passion. What kind of art are you into? I like to collect pre-reset relics. Furniture, books, pop culture. I have quite the comic book collection. Oh, yeah. I've seen them on the net. Lately, I've been interested in finding new artists. I hear there are artists breaking boundaries in the rocks. Laws, you mean? Ha <laughs> ha! Been doing this long? I got into it late in life. About 100 years or so. Earth years. You look good for someone over a century. I've had some organics. I've never met a Longevian. Usually only we refer to ourselves that way. Oh. It doesn't bother me, but others might not take too kindly. Let's talk about something else. So tell me about yourself. What do you need to know? You mentioned you've been collecting art for over a hundred years. So that would make you... I'm about 180 in Earth years. So you made it through the reset. We were poor at the time, so we lacked augmentations. What was it like back then? We lost about 80% of the population, anyone with deep brain augmentations. 
The economy and major infrastructure collapsed. You know the history. It was dark for a while, but we survived. We learned. No more replicators or artificial general intelligence for a start. Uh, for a start. So you're from Earth then? I'm from the United North, Bay Area. Oh, near Ground Zero. Yeah, Reset Valley isn't far off. You got any family? Younger sister back on Earth, who's still around. I haven't seen her in a long time. Why haven't you seen your sister in a long time? That's maybe a little too personal, Cassini. Why'd you become a Fed? I wanted to see the galaxy. Plus, they have an amazing medical program. Let's talk about something else. How about that device? Okay, Cassini. Blanca, give the device back to him. But, Bishop... Things have changed. He may be able to help us find a facility. You're Blanca. So, Captain Cassini. Call me Vince. Okay, Vince. I'd like to know more about you. Okay. What do you do here? Security. Okay. Where are you from? I'm Loken. But you're an expert in Lokans, aren't you, Tin Man? To be fair, I only killed those who tried to take my home and murder my friends. I... am sorry. You should know. We are not all the same. We met the same way I meet most Logans. Barrel first. I've never heard sorry from a Logan before though. So, let's just say I'm open to see where this goes. I can respect that. Why are you here? I rose as far in our military as my family name would allow. Bishop showed an appreciation in what I had to offer and gave me a more independent role. Plus, we get to play with nice toys. Have you had a chance to go for a swim yet? Water's pretty warm this time of year. I don't have anything to wear in the water. Me neither. We should go sometime. <laughs> I thought the Tin Man would avoid the water. Not a problem, if you bring the oil. <laughs> would gun oil do? Ugh. Cassini, stop distracting my people. Copy, Bishop. Thanks. Nice gun. This is a rifle. Later, Blanca. Computer, show me facility locations. Showing projected facility locations. The red dot shows the first facility you found. The blue area is our potential search zone. As you can see, we still have too big an area to attack with the brute force search. Computer, end session. Entering standby. Ship, set a course for the Nebula Ventura refinery. Setting course, NV-01. Engines to full power.
Tin Man 01, this is NV01, state your purpose. Routine inspection. We have complied with all regulations and no inspection has been scheduled. Uh, this is a surprise inspection. We are not contractually obliged to allow surprise inspections. I have an appointment with Mr. Volkov. Mr. Volkov does not have any appointment scheduled today. I'm conducting an investigation for the Cetus Orbital Police. Please confirm your identity. Captain Cassini. Dock 3 is now available, Captain Cassini. Be advised that the elevator will activate once no weapons are detected on your person. What can I do for you, Captain Cassini? Ma'am? I need to see your boss. Mr. Volkov is a busy man. He does not entertain anybody without an appointment. I need to see your boss right now. In what regard do you need to see Mr. Volkov? Official police business. Your request has been noted. Mr. Volkov reviews appointments once a week. I may be in touch next week, if Mr. Volkov would like to see you. So, what do you do here? Shipping, bookkeeping and facilitate Mr. Volkov's meetings, among other things. Can I make an appointment? Captain Cassini will be in touch next week if something opens up. Do you like working here? Captain Cassini, I really must be getting back to work. Maybe I'll come back later. Hmm. Not here. Ship, lower the cargo ramp. Lowering cargo ramp. No signal.
Hi, Jet. Yes, Captain Gassini. Just Captain is fine. Okay, Captain. About these objectives. Bishop mentioned bugging Nebula Ventura. Here, take this. You'll want to get it in General Kuznetsov's office, as close as you can to his computer. He operates out of a refinery in the rocks. Anything I should know about it? Don't let him see it? Thanks. Where do I put this bug? In General Kuznetsov's office, as close as you can to his computer. He operates out of a refinery in the rocks. How am I going to find these facilities? If you find any new information, send it to our computer. The computer can use our existing data to narrow down the probability space. You said these facilities were virtually undetectable. Unless you were lucky enough to run into one, you'd have to know exactly where they were. So even if I know where the facility is, how am I going to find it? I thought you found one already. Let's talk about something else. What do you know about transponder keys? Advantages are that they're hardware encoded, the key value pair signature is unique and virtually unbreakable, and they're easy to install. Disadvantage is they're inherently noisy. If you know what signature you're looking for, you can spot one a thousand clicks away. Reception is terrible down here. Oh, that's us. We've got outbound transmissions locked down to only known sources. Can you unblock me? No. You don't trust me? Uh... Nothing personal, Cassini. Yeah, but don't worry. We've allowed you to receive inbound calls. Right. I'd like to know more about you. I'd rather not if it's all the same. Right. Later, Jet. Computer, show me facility locations. Showing projected facility locations. The red dot shows the first facility you found. The blue area is our potential search zone. As you can see, we still have too big an area to attack with the brute force search. Computer, end session. Entering standby. Ship, set a course for the Nebula Ventura refinery. Setting course. NV-01. Engines to full power. Tin Man-01. State your name for voice authentication. Again? You know who I am already. 
Please be advised that positive voice identification is required for entry. Captain Cassini. Dock 3 is now available, Captain Cassini. Be advised that the elevator will activate once no weapons are detected on your person. What can I do for you, Captain Cassini? Hi, Dorothy. Mrs. McGuire will do. Do you like working? This provides one of... You're from the Rust. What district? Captain Cassini, I really must be getting back to work. Maybe I'll come back later. Hmm. Captain Cassini, I really must be getting back to work. Maybe I'll come back later. Hmm. Hey, I need to see your boss. Talk to the lady at the desk. Captain Cassini, I really must be getting back to work. Maybe I'll come back later. Hmm. Ship. Setting. Ten man zero one. Vincent Cassini. Dock 3 is now available, Captain Cassini. Be advised that the elevator... What can I do for you, Captain Cassini? Hello, Mrs. McGuire. You're from the Rust. What district? Yes, Captain Cassini. I am quite comfortable in District 8. Oh, we're in District 5. You'd have to walk right by us to get to the spaceport. I'll bet you know Colin. Hmm. 
The man talks too much. You do know him. What do you think about Colin? You are alike. Oh, come on. So, do you like living in the rust? It's not Cetus. That it ain't. I will get back home one day. You can count on it. Can I make an appointment? Captain Cassini will be in touch next week if something opens up. I'll be back. Hmm. Ship, return to base. Full speed. Setting course, Rust Police Department. Engines to full power. Call the department. Rust Police Department. Hey, Bob. Did you need something, Vince? Just checking in. Nothing urgent right now. Take it easy, Vince. Later, Bob. Call Tom. Cassini, do you have something to report? I'm trying to locate a facility. I'd advise following up with your contact at the rocks if you need more information. Copy that. going, Bob? Oh, nothing a little heat wouldn't fix. If I see any of those fuses, I'll let you know. Thanks, hon. See you, Bob. Don't be a stranger. See you around, boys. Yeah, Captain.
Hey, what's new, Captain? You know a woman named Dorothy McGuire? Oh, yes, Dorothy McGuire from District 8. Very busy woman. Always walking through in such a hurry. First generation Seton family. Suffered losses during the war. Nice job at that new Nebula Ventura refinery. What do you know about Dorothy McGuire's family? You know, Vince, I don't want to gossip. What? Captain, you see those young men over there? The kids? The minute I take my eyes off them, they'll be up to no good. Maybe you could get them to move along. What do you know about those kids over there? Sock and Hebo's parents have stalls in the spaceport market. Nice people, hard working. Though, if they spent more time with their kids, maybe... Careful, mate. Oh, I didn't mean to offend. See you around, Colin. Keep me posted, Captain. Boys? Hey! Hey, Captain! Do you think you could hang out somewhere else? Oh, yeah, we... Nah, man. We good here. Your parents know you're here? Yeah, of course. Always looking out for us. They have that market stall in the port, right? Be happy to pay them a visit. Nah, man, Captain. No need to bother them. If you need to tell them anything, you just let me know. Look, we've been getting some complaints about you guys hanging out here. Oh, yeah! We were leaving anyways, Captain. Oh, Captain Cassini. I just remembered something about Dorothy. Right. Hey, Colin. What's new, Captain? I'm looking into the Seton disappearances. The Seton disappearances? Colin! The Seton disappearances? Yes, Colin. Can I trust you not to talk about this? Don't worry, Captain. I won't tell anyone you're investigating the Seton disappearances. How can I help? What do you know about Dorothy McGuire's family? Oh, large family. Second of five. Her husband, uh, I forgot his name, killed during the war. Her daughter, uh, Magdalene, yes, that's it, she went missing. So many people did, you know. That's all she talked about, really. Says the orbital police never looked for her. So she's not too fond of your lot, I'm afraid. Well, that explains a few things. Glad to be of service, Captain. See you around, Colin. Keep me posted, Captain. Vince. See you, Bob. Don't be a stranger. Set a course for the net. Setting. T. 
Tin Man Zero One. State your name for voice authentication. Captain Cassini. Dock 3 is now available, Captain Cassini. Be advised that the elevator will activate once no weapons are detected on your person. What can I do for you, Captain Cassini? Hello, Mrs. McGuire. Do you have a daughter called Magdalene? Magda? Don't you see her name? I'm sorry it's taken us so long. You never looked for her. I know what you're going through. I lost my wife. Oh, I... Listen. It would really help with my investigation if I could talk to your boss. Of course. <clears throat> Hold on. <sniffs> Mr. Volkov, I have Captain Vincent Cassini here to see you. Yes, that's right. Oh, yes. I'll let him know. Thank you, Mr. Volkov. Mr. Volkov will see you as soon as you're ready. Denko, Mr. Volkov is expecting Captain Cassini. Ma'am. I'll be back. Farewell, Captain. Drop your things in the little box, then stand under the scanner. Okay. The Mac as well. Mac, stay here. Yes, Captain. Good. Call boss. Sir, Captain Cassini here to see you. Greetings. I'm Vasily Volkov. Captain Cassini, is it? Just Captain is fine. Ah, Captain. I was not expecting police visit. I trust everything is still in order? I was just making the rounds, checking on local businesses. I see. I can assure you, we are in full compliance with all Seton regulations. What's your role in no this? Ha <laughs> I'm the boss. I make sure the whole operation doesn't fall apart. Metal keeps flowing. Shareholders stay happy. Nice office you've got here. I like to keep things neat and orderly. Just a few simple pleasures to remind me of home. Looks like you've got some wartime weapons there. Ah, uh, yes. An unfortunate moment in history. Did you serve? I take it you served? We all serve, but only a few get to choose how we serve. Quite a collection of bottles you got there. One of life's small pleasures. What's your poison? Ah, uh, been trying to stay dry. Oh. That's tough. Have you ever tried a single malt scotch from Earth? Can't say I have. It's like honey from the sun. I'd offer you some, but I had some trouble with my last shipment. What kind of trouble? Oh, never mind. Forget I said anything. What happened with that scotch? Oh, some trouble with customs coming through your spaceport. That might have ended up at the department. Probably long gone by now then. I see you've got a Mac as well. Can't do a damn thing without them these days. Don't want to get chipped either, eh? At my age, who could be bothered? What's your excuse?
those things can make you see, hear, feel, even taste things that aren't there. Can't say I trust them. Oh, but they are safe now. Not like the old days. I'll stick with reality, thanks. You mind if I take a look around? I'd like nothing more than to show you around. But the refinery is a dangerous place. Wouldn't want you falling into a pool of molten metal, would we? <laughs> Maybe you would like to come back next week, when we clean things up a bit. Well, I should be going. Before you go, please accept this brooch as a token of my thanks for keeping the peace. What's this all about? Nothing sinister, I assure you. Just a gift, no strings attached. Okay, sure. Thanks. See you later, Captain. <laughs>